Hello again. Uh, the objective of this trial was to determine the effect of uh, um, cultivar, the fungi fungicide exposure time, uh, fruit maturity, fruit temperature, and the fungicide solution temperature on the retention of the of um, fungicides um, on plums. Uh, we divided the trial into two uh, sections. The first one uh, was where we looked at the effect of um, a fungicide, um, and that in this case it was fludoxinol. Uh, the exposure time on the residues, uh, we used um, two cultivars for the, for the trial, and there were four um, exposure times. The first one was uh, 10 seconds, then 30 seconds, and then three and four minutes. In the second trial, we looked at um, the effect of cultivar, fruit maturity, the fruit temperature, and the fungicide temperature on the residues. Um, and that was also done on uh, two plum cultivars, the Tisha and Songold. Uh, the treatments in this trial was uh, we had uh, warm fruit and a warm fun fungicide solution. Uh, then warm fruit and a cold fungicide solution, then cold fruit and warm, and cold fruit um, and cold fruit. So that, those were the permutations that, that we looked at. Uh, the results um, of trial one, where we looked at the um, exposure times, uh, we did not find a difference um, in, the, ex in a, the exposure time between 10 and 30 seconds, but we did find that if you had a longer exposure time for three or four minutes, that, that the residues were, were higher. Um, but bete between three and four minutes, there was no um, a difference. Um, the cultivar also played a role. And in this case, we found that the residue um, on Sangold was um, slightly higher than on Letitia. But the residues, um, in this case, where we applied the, the fluoroxanol at the um, registered um, dosage was um, well below the, the maximum that, that's um, allowed. Um, in, in trial two, where we looked on at the um, residues um, on sandgold plums, where we had the, um, the warm, 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 and the warm, cold, and the cold fruit, and the warm solution, cold fruit, and the cold solution, we found that in, in the harvest, uh, one fruit, um, none of these factors actually played a role. The, the, um, we did not find a significant difference between the um, fungicide retention um, on, on those factors. In harvest two fruit, for some other reason, we found that the residues were a little bit higher on the, on the, on the warm fruit than on, on, on the cold fruit. But as I say, that was only on the harvest two fruit. On Letitia, um, the results were similar. We did not find uh, a difference between the where the fruit temperature and the fungicide solution uh, was um, at play. Uh, that did not uh, affect the, um, the, the retention of the uh, fungicide, but there was a, a difference between the two harvests. Okay, so our recommendation, uh, the exposure times between 10 and uh, 30 seconds uh, um, it looks like it, that is sufficient <coughs> and with uh, when you do um, um, work with um, uh, fluidoxinol whether it's 10 sec the exposure time is 10 th seconds or 30 seconds you will um, get um, average or um, adequate um, uh, residues uh, an increase in the residues of about 30 percent um, can be um, expected if the exposure time is in increased to three or four minutes or you know, to a couple of minutes. Um, and then the cultivar, harvest maturity, fruit temperature, uh, and fungicide temperature did not play a role in most cases. Um, uh, but we, we, it did make a little bit of a difference. I don't think it's something to be con too concerned about because all the residues were well within the maximum of five uh, ppm that's allowed. Uh, and it was also high enough that we could expect um, good um, decay control. Okay. <coughs>